Hello everyone, this is Mayat Marie and welcome back to Create, Share and Give. Today I want to share with you guys how I set up my apothecary. So let's start off here. This is a vintage piece and actually I was gifted it from a neighbor. One day I was out walking, a neighbor was going through this old um, garage you can tell it hadn't been cleaned out since probably the 1970s and they were getting rid of uh, things that have accumulated in there so it caught my eye and then they asked me hey would you like it and I said yes so this is the top it is wood pure wood it's hard to find good wood now um, unless you're willing to pay for it it has the brass chains they look very durable. And this is the top compartment. It has doors to open, so you can either open the doors and lift the top or do either or. So this is where I decided to store my essential oils. I used to keep them on my bathroom counter, but they were in a container where I really couldn't see them all, so I would forget about them. Sometimes with me, it's about out of mind, out of sight, or out of sight, out of mind. Here are some of the other oils that I use. So I can put all of my oils for my candles, my essential oils, all in one spot and know what I have. Here I have some of my incense, frankincense. I have some comfrey root. So some herbs here that are stored here. Some cloves. So again, I can stuff these here and have them in the same spot so I can see what I have. And when I don't wanna look at it, it can be out of sight. Let me push this back a little bit. Out of mind. Now let's come down to the main part of the apothecary. I'm so excited about my collection and how I've been building it. So on this first shelf, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you guys. These are some of my incense resin as well as my herbs that I keep. I've labeled them. Some of the labels like this one, if I like the label and it comes with the like medicinal uses on the back, I like to tape that on and kind of keep that. So I like that label. There are some rosemary, some magnolia bark. And again, I've taped some of the names on um, so I remember where I purchased them from and also some of their recommended uses. Here is my second shelf. Let's come on down. We have some high sop. And with these here, I started out buying like my containers here that kind of all look the same because I initially wanted to be uniform and I still do sort of look a lot neater and just look organized. But then I got tired of buying the containers. So I said, okay, I wanna recycle more. So that's when I recycle some of my jars here with the black tops that my spices and honey comes in. And I'd rather recycle them, save money there and save the planet as well. So I've just been mindful of which ones that I collect. I've been trying to keep with the same theme if I could, like a black top. This one has like a bamboo, but I still like that top, so I kept that there. On the bottom shelf here, these are some of my incense that I keep here also. Some of my powdered incense. On my bottom shelf here, a little love opening up that heart chakra. And these are some bottles that I bought. I purchased these from the Dollar Tree and they are really nice. They look like vintage bottles, something you would have from the 70s. Going again with my theme of my vintage 
antique apothecary and these tend to be seasonal so when I go back I'm definitely gonna pick a few more up I just love the orange and the green shades of them and I put my waters, any type of elixir I'm mixing up. It's just nice to have a nice bottle with a nice cork screw on them. So the windows of the apothecary are glass. And you should keep the glass, I mean your herbs, in a cool, dark place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some curtains for it. I have some lovely fabric that I think I'm gonna use. It has like little lemons on it, very nice and refreshing. And it has a, I have some blackout fabric that I'm gonna put on the back of that to make sure that no sunlight or very minimal sunlight hit the herbs that are in here. Added value, I have shelves because I love my plants and my apothecaries. These look like little lily pads. My aloe vera, which is just growing back because I had to use it. That is my amethyst, one of my amethysts. Here is one of my other crystals on the back. And it came and it was chipped on the bottom shelf, which I don't mind that too much because I love the farmhouse shabby chic look so it just adds to the history i love things that have a history to them there is lakshmi say hi to lakshmi here is my tree a little candle i can put a candle on here a little tea light candle with my himalayan salt candle holder and then here is my little sunflower that I'm growing. It's growing really, really nice. So I can't wait till it grow and I can plant it in the front and have Oshun welcome me as I come in. Well, thanks again for coming by. I just wanted to share with you guys my apothecary and how I've put everything together. I put everything in here because I was putting all of my herbs in my kitchen cabinet. But now, since we have a shelter in place order in the state that I live in, I need that space for more food storage. But I'm happy that I have everything. I know exactly what I have. I'm able to see it. In the cabinet was there. Things were behind certain things. I forgot I had certain herbs. So this is a way of me keeping track and being mindful of what I do have. So thanks again, and until we meet again, peace.